the hell? You could have told me that my glasses were a little wonky. Jesus Christ. Anyways, uh, this game. This game is ass. I'm just tired of making up excuses. This game is just not it, man. It's not good. Not good at all. Man, it's just so weird to see Call of Duty slowly turn itself into a shit soup. And I don't really think it makes sense at all. Think about a video game series that people don't really like anymore. Uh, Madden. Yeah, that's a good example. Madden 08 was the last one I actually enjoyed. Yeah, Madden 08. Damn near 15 years old. And Madden 21? It's going to be terrible, alright? Screw what IGN says, it's going to be a shitty game. And don't you dare give me that. There's a whole pandemic going on, these are tough times, we need to take things one step after another, blah blah blah, alright? It's going to be ass regardless of what's going on outside. It does not matter how good or how bad this game is, Ultimate Team is going to bring in millions. Money. The green stuff. Yeah, it's all about that. Call of Duty to me is so weird because you get the newest game, and then you play it for a month, and then you stop. They've actually made a lot of money from loot boxes, but people are still leaving, and that's that's definitely an issue. And apparently, they're not even using loot boxes anymore. It's all about a battle pass system now. I think the battle pass is a $10, right? And you don't have to worry about buying it again if you stock up a thousand COD points. But I can't imagine finishing a single season in this travesty of a video game. I just think it's weird that they're moving on to the battle passes now, because I just think there's less money in that compared to loot boxes. So now it's all about that and game sales, and who's stupid enough to buy this game? Wait, I am. Ladies and gentlemen, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. The 2019 one, because they thought it was a good idea to name it after the one that was before. Because it's it's a genius marketing tactic, whatever. Hmm, 80 out of 100. That's not really that bad. It's pretty good, actually. Oh, wait, that's the that's a critic reviews. What about the... Oh, Oh yeah, 3.6 out of 10 in user reviews. That's that's pretty terrible. Yeah, that's a that's a bad score. I actually wish I could read some of the reviews, but uh, it's just a bunch of angry Russian niggas. Today I'm gonna focus on the multiplayer because it needs to be taken out to the backyard and shot. Everything else is fine. the The campaign is fine. Never played the co-op, but it looks fine. All right, Warzone is not my thing. You know, I just don't really like battle royales, but it's it's okay. I just find it funny that the best part about this video game is the free game mode, as opposed to the stuff that I paid about sixty dollars for. It's pretty cool, awesome, spectacular. The multiplayer, though, oh my, the the multiplayer. Wow, the main part of a Call of Duty game, it's just not good. It's not good at all. Now you might say that the multiplayer is fun when you're playing with your friends, but here's the thing. That means nothing. Most, if not all, activities are more enjoyable with your friends, all right? At the very least. So that's not a substantial argument, all right? It's not. You're honestly smoking dick if you think it is. That's like saying school is fun because you get to hang out with your friends. That's like saying the Greyhound bus ride is fun because you get to bring your homies. That's like saying that girl's pussy is fire because your friends can... <laughs> you know what? That's not really a good comparison, but you get the point. Modern Warfare is more fun with friends. Yes, that's true. But so are a lot of things. You get that? The past Call of Duty games were fun to play alone, sometimes, all right? But now it's sweatier than 10 fat bitches in a motel. Oh, and what about those times where you can't play or won't play with your friends? What if your friend says something completely suspect and you don't want to talk to him for the rest of the day? You gotta play alone at some point, and then what? Sadness happens. If you didn't play this game, you might be wondering, what makes multiplayer a visual representation of vanilla covered shit? Well, the first reason is the skill-based matchmaking. It does not belong in a Call of Duty game. It should be focused more on the internet connection because nobody wants to play against a scuff controller freak. Dude, the mongrels in this game are a whole new breed. It really concerns me how comfortable they are with this game. You will mostly see players camping, holding down a whole lane while being as safe as possible. These freaks of nature will hit the floor and squirm around like a little rat just to get a kill. I might even have some footage of back-to-back -back drop shots. I mean, if I have it, I'd definitely show it. Don't worry fam, I found it. Now I'm not gonna lie, I like to partake in some rat activities, but this game is basically an infestation. Freaks have always been around in the Call of Duty games. Pair them up with an overpowered gun and the whole lobby is irked adjacent. You remember snipers in Black Ops 2? Yeah? I don't want to. 
At least in Black Ops 2 and 3, the BS weapons were insane enough to be fun in a way. You might be wondering why Jason isn't showing any footage of Black Ops 2 multiplayer. Well, that game is heavily coated with hackers. Boy howdy, they are everywhere. Back to Modern Warfare. Um, if we can ignore the fact that my controller aim is Helen Keller-esque, it's just not that good, alright? My, my thumbs were not made for controllers. I want to talk about the other reason why multiplayer is terrible. The maps. How in the nine stages of hell are you not able to make at least five good maps? Look at Black Ops 3. Most, if not all, the maps are at least acceptable. Except for Rupture. That's not a good map. Rupture is ass. I was going to review every single map, but um, it's, it's just way too many. It is way too many, man. It's gonna be another 20 minute video if I do that, all right? I just don't, know. please. No, no, thank you. So I'll focus on some of the worst and best maps in the game. Let us start with Atlas Superstore. Atlas Superstore is okay, all right? It doesn't make me angry. So that's a W. Maybe, maybe half of one. So a V. Here's the main issue with this map that most other maps have as well. If you enter the middle of the map, you die. Compared to Black Ops 3, there's enough cover in most maps to protect you. But in Modern Warfare, you're butt-ass naked in the middle just waiting to get Piper parried. Also, I don't think the outside area is really needed. If they made it all indoors and opened up the roof a little more, I think the map would be better. This is also an issue that a lot of the maps have, where there's usually two big-ass areas that are primarily used for spawning. Look, I get it, you're trying to stop spawn killing, but you need to understand the balance of size. Side note. Regular bots in this game are extremely hilarious. Next up, Crash. Crash makes me sad. We're moving on now. Next up, Euro... 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 Farates Bridge. Alright bro, um... What, what, what the hell is this? It's, it's not fun, I can tell you that much. There is no roaming in this map. You roam, you dead. D-E-D, -E -D, dead. Alright, next up we got Sovic Sawmill. I have nothing to say about this map besides this 8000 IQ right shield play right here. Kanda Hideout is up next. What does Jason think about- It's ass. It's not good. The roadway in the middle of the map is my favorite because the amount of places you can get shot from. It's just... Great. It's basically three lanes of docile gameplay. Huh. Well, would you look at that? Another issue that most maps have in this game. Piccadilly. Just no, 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 man, no. It's ass, it's all ass. Where is the flow in this map? How do you function properly in this map? It's just all eye vomit. I could honestly turn on a random video game engine, slam my meat stick on a keyboard and make a better map than this. Okay, so uh, Rust, Rust is up next. This map is small. Modern Warfare can't handle small maps. The spawns get all janky. To the point that you want to commit Sudoku. Sudoku. Su That's what I meant to say. And let's be real here. Rust is not a good map overall. It's only acceptable in free for all, and that's about it. It's that map you use if you want to practice your quick scoping or do 1v1 battles or whatever. All right, last one. Um, I'm getting a little tired. Shipment. It's it's not good. It's, I don't like it. It's, it's terrible. I don't, I don't like it, man. It's awful. I've played Shipment 24-7, and it is by far the worst gaming experience I've ever had in my life. And I've played Life is Strange. Oh, um, you're waiting for me to explain why it's a bad map. Uh, no. I'm sorry, I think, I think I'm done here. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll let the robot voice do it or whatever, okay? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm done here. Bye. This map is way too small, the spawns are shite, and it is somehow better than most of the other maps. Jason is probably off to continue his work on the Mirror's Edge Catalyst review. LMAO, who am I kidding? Ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha, maybe next week we'll get an update. An in-depth explanation. Or not, you never know. Maybe I'm just stretching this part out so we can reach the 10 minute mark. I'm serious. I have zero shame. There we go.